all these uh, ac absolutely uh, documentable uh, facts that we see from the ground. International organizations on the ground. Tell me which ones are on the ground in Eastern Aleppo. Yeah, okay, I'll tell you, there are none. There are none. These organizations are relying on the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, which is based in Coventry, UK, which is one man. They're relying on compromised groups like um, the White Helmets, which, let's, let's talk about the White Helmets. The White Helmets were, funded, were founded in 2013 by a British ex-military officer. They have been fa uh, funded to the tune of $100 million by the US, UK, and Europe, and other states. They purport to be rescuing civilians in eastern Aleppo and Idlib, yet no one in eastern Aleppo has heard of them. The White Helmets purport to be neutral, yet they can be found um, carrying guns and standing in the dead bodies of Syrian soldiers. And uh, their video footage actually contains uh, children that have been recycled in different reports. So you can find a girl named Aya who turns up in a report in month, say, August, and she turns up in the next month in two different locations. So they are not credible. The SOHR is not credible. Unnamed activists are not credible. Your sources on the ground, you don't have them. The agenda of some corporate media, it is the agenda of regime change. How can the New York Times, I was reading it this morning, or how can Democracy Now!, which I was reading the other day, maintain until this day that this is a civil war in Syria? How can they maintain until this day that, there were that the protests were unarmed and nonviolent until, say, 2012? That is absolutely not true. How can they maintain that the Syrian government is attacking civilians in Aleppo when every person that's coming out of these areas occupied by terrorists is saying the opposite? While the Syrians and while the Russians um, adhered to the tenets of the ceasefire, but the American-led coalition itself violated the ceasefire by targeting Syrian army positions in Deir Ezzor, killing at least 83 Syrian soldiers in a prolonged attack that lasted nearly one hour and which enabled ISIS to over overtake that position. What you hear in the corporate media, and I will name them, BBC, Guardian, New York Times, etc., on Aleppo is also opposite of reality. And they have manufactured stories, and I can give you a precise account. In April of this year, there was a hospital called the Al Quds Hospital, which in a concerted effort, all media said was attacked and targeted and badly damaged by either the Syrians or the Russians. In fact, the Russians had satellite imagery showing that this hospital was in the same shape that it was in in October 2015. No difference. Therefore, it was not attacked. Months later, the Guardian, which is a prominent British newspaper, newspaper actually said the Al Quds Hospital that it had alleged months prior to be attacked and destroyed was treating victims of so-called chemical weapons attacks. So even the media that is lying is inconsistent in their lies. And hopefully, above all, the U.S. will stop supporting terrorism and stop funding terrorism.